Why did Japan decide to attack Pearl Harbor? A presentation by Saf Mimon, Dwayne Tinney, and Kayla Cole. In this presentation, we will discuss some of the events that led Japan to make the ultimate decision of attacking Pearl Harbor. First, a brief history about the tensions between Japan and the U.S. In the U.S., immigration control laws extended out towards the Japanese that were originally for the Chinese. After World War I, Japan was basically placed second to England and the United States in terms of power, and Japan didn't like this at all because they felt like they were equal in power to the United States and, and England. And this led to the Japan thinking that the United States hated them, in a way. This also led to Japan not trusting us. Next, we will discuss some of the resources that were at stake. And resources was a main reason for this attack. At this point in time, Japan was fully into World War II and they needed oil. We had stopped supplying them oil due to them taking over China. We had told them to stop and they didn't take it seriously because of what we were doing to other countries. And they basically concluded that we were hypocrites and they continued to attack China. And uh, they needed oil due to us not supplying them and Pearl Harbor had a lot of oil so that was an incentive for them to attack. Next was the attack of the USS Panay. The US gunboat is attacked and sunk by Japanese warplanes. Two US sailors and a civilian were killed and 11 others were seriously wounded. This set off a crisis between the US and Japanese relations. Japan claimed this was an accident and Japan or er, and US didn't respond with force at all. This led or some believe this led to Japan thinking that they could carry out a larger attack and that the U.S. wouldn't respond with any force because they didn't in this case. Next is Japan's version of the Monroe Doctrine. The Monroe Doctrine states that a single country can control a hemisphere if they're powerful enough. Seeing what we did to Mexico, Japan decided that why not do that themselves. So they started taking over the Pacific. We did not approve and um, they didn't care due to the fact that we did it so we couldn't really say much against it. We had a Y in our possession at that time, and it was in their region, so they wanted to take it over. A key mistake that Japan made was thinking that the U.S. would attack first. Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor thinking that due to what they were doing in the Pacific, that we would attack them first in order to stop them, even though we had to claim neutrality. And pretty much Japan thought we would not retaliate because of the fact that we claimed this neutrality. In conclusion, our rough history with Japan includes us discriminating against them and treating them as if they were not equal. This led to a thinking that the U.S. hated them and caused a lot of tension between the two regions. One reason they attacked was because of the need for resources such as oil, which we stopped providing and that we had in Pearl Harbor. Also, the attack of the USS Panay gave them a courage for a bigger attack, thinking that we wouldn't retaliate with force. Another reason is Japan's version of the Monroe Doctrine in which they took over the whole region and what we were doing in our region. Lastly, they assumed that we would attack them first if they came within distance to strike. This was a huge mistake and ultimately led to them losing the war in the end.